the weather today for a good long hunt. Oh yes, I do so love the great hunts along the forest floor. Who are you? Why, excuse my manners, I am but Princess Lily, a lonely giant centipede. But of course, I know of you. You are Midna, the great dragon of the east. You need no introduction. A princess? A centipede? Well, you are lucky that my companions are not here, for they would want to fry you. Um, I shall do no such thing. And by the way, thank you for the recognition. I would like to continue a polite conversation. Let us smell a great heart nearby. My forciples quiver with the anticipation of warm flesh. Well, my dragon senses are picking up on it too. Why don't we hunt it together, eh? Yes, I enjoy the cut of your jib. Let us make haste for the prey. You move quite quickly through the brambles and underbrush of the forest floor. Yes, and let my wings soar and still stay stealthy through this forest. Our prey is stupidly moving closer. Let us feast. My forcibles will poison it. Watch how deftly they fly at its throat. But oh, what's this? It has changed into a wretched crone. Watch as I cut this creature in two. You fool! By biting the crone in half, the power of butterflies has been released, trapped in that form for a thousand years. It has begun to change me. Oh, my beautiful tail! It changes now into ghastly maiden legs. Well, I have no doubt why. I just devoured Mrs. Doubtfire. Now I am cursed to have the lower half of fair maiden and the upper half of a giant centipede. How could a princely young maid ever wish to marry me now? Well, this is easy then. I have shelves and shelves of books that can cure horrible disfigurements. Or at least tell us how to cure them. Then lead on. My prince awaits. Follow me. Since I lived such a long time, I wish that I could have a life mate as well. Alligator's about to bite your neck! It will not matter to either of us. You have a sturdy plated armor, and I, scales made of platinum. a wing from its body with my power for jaws. But look how its blood rolls on your legs, changing them into stubby alligator legs. Gee, thanks. Now we really need to go to my library, so hurry up. <laughs> Alligator wing is so tasty. <laughs> My beautiful segments are changing into an alligator body. I'll never be attractive again. <laughs> then stop eating that <laughs> rotten creature.
Look, I've already found a book. How to turn back horrible disfigurements that have been placed upon your gorgeous body. This is a long title. Let's read. Oh no, this is written in Ionic Greek, but I read it as Attic Greek. I've grown talons on my back. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll read it. Find these three items. A human toenail, famine flowers, dancing potatoes. Well, this is nice. My dear Lily, rumors told of your journeying with a great dragon midnight. So I traveled to her castle as fast as my mighty steed could carry my sword and my one hundred legs and... Oh my goodness, what mother of beast is this? Tis not our fault. It was the deers and the flying alligators' fault. Now have some respect for, uh, us, um, handicapped creatures. My questing knight has come to save me. Please, Lord, I beg of you to let pass this form and see the fair and fair part you once knew. The one whose voice was you once embraced in... Oh, no! The butterfly power has encircled you! Here, let me put these butterfly curses to an end by blowtorching them in my flames. Well shot, my goodly dragon, with nary a singed my antennae. But they turn now into butterfly wings. If only there was a cure. But there is. We need these three ingredients combined in a pot of boiling scotch and we are all saved. And we will always be immune to this curse or any other curses forever. I heard rumors of humans dwelling at the forest's edge, where they hack the living trees with their steel axes. Well, let us not be stupid and eat them. Who knows what would happen to us next, after all we've been through. Anyways, let's go cut off some human toenails, shall we? There they are, the humans. Let us be stealthy. Your wings are so quiet. Not even the rabbits stir as we venture through these dense, dark trees. Thank you. Hush now while I chop off this foot. Aha! A toe! Though the men scream in terror, I rip this toenail off the smelly foot. The first ingredient. Was a good cut. Thank you. Now I shall place this toenail in my dragon pouch on the side of my flank. And I'll just save this foot for a later meal in my... Whoops. It slipped into your regal wings. Ah! What is it doing to me? Get it off! Get it off! Your wings are sprouting fingers like f feathers. I'll remove it with my forcibles and... No! They have become thumbs! All right, now let's find the famine flowers before we grow anything else. I believe they're just over that hillock. Yes, the last blooms of the season, but no. Mrs. Doubtfire is eating them. I thought she was dead, stupid witch. Wait. Oh no. I feel faint, as if I have fasted myself for so long. Yes, my puppet, you are succumbing to my hunger ray. You now crave my delicious famine flower, flower power cake. Oh, for heaven's sake, let me take three of these flowers now. Here, let me stick these into my pouch. Done. Now, ugh, I'm hungry. What should we do with Mrs. Doubtfire? I don't want any bare feet. What a lovely idea! Have some bare feet, puppet! <laughs> the butterfly magic is back! And my feet are turning into beer feet. Now my 
coffee to mares. You will never leave with those flowers in your pouch. Give them back, and I can make you better. Never, I don't trust you. Let's go, gang. Our last stop is in Mashville. Then I'll tell you all that you better I take those flowers back. Not if I have anything to say about it. Taste my cold steel, witch, but lo! My sword only removed your wing, and now it eats my blade. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Pete. Aha! With my extra thumbs for fourth of course, I am able to grab the witch and soak her in venom. Oh no! My only escape in butterfly form! Flee! Flee! Who's that new figure approaching from the hill? Stop! Um, oh, uh, hello there. Don't mean to barge in, but, uh, oh, um, I, 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 uh, hi, m my name's Inferno. Oh, you must be Midnight, great dragon and hunter of the East. Look past my horrendous form. We all need your help. This wicked witch is, um, deforming us. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Well, I'm immune to her spirits, so yeah, I'll help. Thank you for your help in freeing us, but we still must go to Mashville to find the dancing potatoes. And my companions can no longer travel quickly. I'll call my beaver friends for you to ride. Well, they better be large beavers, because we're long and large. They are Tunusian beavers. Tall, strong, and swift. They also make a mean hot toddy. Cool, but right now, I'm mainly focusing on fighting Mrs. Doubtfire. Though I won't be needing a beaver. She has turned into butterflies and now flies from us. I fear pursuing her will only delay our quest further. Look now, the wild beavers approach. Do you not hear the mighty oaks tremble in fear? Yes, I hear them. You are correct. We should not waste our time on Mrs. Doubtfire. Let us travel to Mashville. Though, Inferno, I suggest you keep an eye out for Mrs. Doubtfire, you and Michael. Anything for you, my fair lady. Come, we must go. My steed did its best to keep up with Donald and Amy Beaver, but we made it to Mashville. But our entrance is blocked by Ranger Dan, the dear shock man. Oh my, horns upon his human head and a bare chest rippling with gills, then satyr-like legs and a long shark tail. Oh, he should understand where we're coming from. He should help us. Stop right there, evildoers. I'm sheriff around these parts. I can't let you into my town. You have to turn around or ride far around us. Please, sir, we only come here in the name of one very specific food item. Potatoes. But these potatoes must be able to dance on their own. So please, help us. Please let us at least be able to get an occupation to retrieve them. Work for your food, eh? But with dragons, beavers, centipede maidens and horses and whatever else you are, I don't trust you. You look like <laughs> bank robbers. Well, no offense, but what would that make you, eh? Why? He's the gruff but kind ranger and sheriff. He only wants to nobly protect his town. But surely he would let us pass if he knew about our quest to defeat. 
Mrs. Doubtfire and her butterfly power. Indeed so. Lily, why don't you endeavor in telling the tale? Very well. Not so long ago. <laughs> you spun a long and uh, tragic tale. You may pass, but I'll warn you about the potatoes. <laughs> They're guarded by some fearsome soldiers. Oh, thank you, oh legendary knight. Ranger Dan said they were in this marble castle. See how it looks abandoned, but lights are on in the windows. Shh, let's go in. Maybe they'll let us pass without a fight. We open the door without a sound, and our feet move without a single noise. True, but our words have brought unwanted attention. Caution, for something approaches. Oh, such sweet creatures. I hope the soldiers don't harm them. Let's make haste to the potatoes. After just one more hug. Oh, Lily, I think those are the soldiers. Let's ask them for guidance. Oh, but these snugglies just couldn't possibly be soldiers. Their wiggly noses and shaking puffball tails are pointing us to leave the castle. Perhaps we're in the wrong place. As I crouch before you bunnies, I ask you, where are the dancing potatoes? It's over there. They seem to want us to leave. My magic tuber sense tells me that they are hidden behind that other door. You mean the door behind the bunnies, right? Because I smell them too. But the snugglies are too tightly packed in front of the door. There is no way to get past them. I no longer have my sword, so I'll push them out of the way with my shield. Oh no, look what I've done. I want to get by, but oh, I'm so sorry. Don't cry. We'll leave. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Since I have horses for feet, you guys go and retrieve the potatoes while I stay here and let my mares snuggle with the bunnies. You are so selfless. These are really the best gods ever. We won't let your sacrifice be in vain. No, I never got to tell you how I truly feel. Midnight, I love you. Oh, I love you too, but you must go. Retrieve the dancing potatoes. Leave me here. I shall not mind at all that adorable creatures are swarming my feet. So go. Leave me here. Come, my friends. Let us not waste this opportunity. Look. Just behind this door, our prize awaits. the potatoes with my thumb pinches. Inferno, if I use my shield, we could work together to catch them. Fighting for midnight. Miracle, look, we have captured two. And I got the rest in my burlap sack. Let's go save midnight now. Come on. 
The beavers have come to our rescue and are snuggling the bunnies. The beavers can fend for themselves. Let us leave with all haste. You're okay. Now let's go, so that I may see your true regal form, oh lovely one. Wait, we need scotch. Does anybody know where the closest liquor store is? Me. Oh, you do? Would you please tell us where? It's right next to the adult video store, and it's right across from the large casino. You won't miss it, best friend. Thank you. Can I adopt you, Bunny? Don't be silly. I'm married with five kids. Aha! Here is the vast liquor store. Michael and I shall capture some scotch. You let us stay out here and wait. Only if you promise to bring us some extra scotch. Now go, my love. Stop right there. You're not old enough to buy liquor in this town. The drink can aid for dragons is 600 years old. But I'm 605 years old. Stop right there! My butterfly power detected that you were trying to cure yourselves. I'll never let that happen, puppet. But we are not the ones buying the liquor, and Fenno the dragon is. And he is not cursed, so that means your senses are wrong. Don't try to fool me! Attack them, trees! <laughs> Quick, Lily, use your feet. I'm already burning down most of them with my dragon fire. It's not enough. They are leafing me. They're too much for my shark powers. Wait, what's that over the hill? The beavers are making the trees cower in fear. Go beavers! We've got the kettle ready, but we need the ingredients. The beavers have finished off the trees. They've been rooted. You may have rooted my trees, or you can never defeat my butterfly power. No, my head is human. Here are the ingredients. Wait. What is that? Are those bunnies? Come here, bunnies, save us! Can bunnies resist my butterfly powers? We added the ingredients, but now we need to stir it with pony hooves. Here, let me stir the kettle with my hooves. Done, now we need to drink it. Wait, Lily, now that you have a human head, you can sing a melody to make the bunnies do whatever you want them to do. Yes, they can finally snuggle with me. But first... Snuggle is cuddle with evil nasty wit who has butterflies. Fly, my <laughs> butterflies! <laughs> what is this? They are melting with bunny cuddles? No! And huggle and cuddle and tickle and wiggle. Mrs. Doubtfire is almost gone. Let her wither in pain. And tickle and wiggle. No! Not the bunnies!
My legs are finally back to normal, and I feel my antennae returning. Yay! Now I may hunt again. I I I I I I I I I I I um uh, hi. You have proven yourself worthy of being my eternal mate, mate. Lily, drink this potion. You'll turn back to normal. centipede segments are back to normal. Thank you everyone for your help. Ranger Dan, would you like to return to normal? Whatever that is for you? No thank you. I can use this form to better protect my town. How noble of you. Come now, everyone. Let's make a run for it. Home sweet home. Thank you, buddies, for your snuggle. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. The end.